الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي إن شاء الله today I will be talking a little bit about Akida in regards to Allah سبحانه وتعالى and destiny the references I will take today will be from the book Al-Aqidat Al-Tahawiyya written by Imam Abi Jafar Ahmed bin Muhammad Al-Tahawi Rahimahumullah. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him, grants him blessings and peace in his cover and grants him a high station in Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen. He says in his book وَالْمِثَاكُ الَّذِي أَخَذَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مِنْ آدَمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ وَذُرِّيَّتَهُ حَقٌّ now the covenant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took from Adam alayhi salam and Bani Adam is true. Haqqul. The covenant referred to here is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathered us all and asked us, Alastu bi rabbikum, am I not your Lord? We all replied saying, Bala, why not? Of course. Imam Tahawi further states in his book, وَقَدْ عَلِمَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فِي مَا لَمْ يَزِلْ عَدَدَ مَنْ يَدْخُلِ الْجَنَّةَ وَعَدَدَ مَنْ يَدْخُلُ النَّارُ جُمْلَةً وَاهِدَةً That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always, Hamesha say, has always known who from his creation will enter heaven and who from his creation will enter hellfire. In the same way, he also knows that there will be no increase or decrease in this number. This is a fixed amount. He knows that this person will definitely go into Jannat and this person will definitely go into the Hellfire. There will be no increase, no decrease in this number. In the same manner, Allah also knows every action his creation will do in their lives. He knew this before creating them. This is our Akida. He that he had already known what we are going to do in this life before he even created us. This is different to some misguided beliefs from people who say that Madullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only knows the actions of his creation after they have been committed. Madullah, this is wrong. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Hamesha say has always known what we are going to do in this life. Imam Tahawi also writes, وَالسَّعِيدُ مِنْ سَعَدَ بِقَضَاءِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى Which means that all good comes from the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore we should not question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decision for us. Allah has a plan for every single person. Allah has made easy, has facilitated for us our means to reach our purpose in life. For example, a person who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed to become a doctor, all his medical studies, all of his studies will be easy for him. A person who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for him to become a big sheikh, a big preacher amongst the Islamic studies, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make that easy for him. We should never ponder upon someone else's destiny and be and ask ourselves, oh, why could I not be a doctor like such and such a person? Why could I not be an engineer like such and such a person? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got a plan for us all. And bearing that in mind, we should always do shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should always say alhamdulillah. We should always say praise be to Allah. Whenever any hardship befalls us, we should be patient. We should do sabr. And whenever any good things um, come our way, we should say alhamdulillah. All praise is due to Allah. We should do shukr. Um, and Imam Tahawi states as well, "Wal a'malu bil khawatim." This is also a hadith from Sahih Bukhari Sharif. It means, and a person's action is ba- actions in their life. A person's actions in their life will be based upon their ending, bil khawatim, their ending, i.e., their death. That's why we should always make dua for a good death, because if someone passes away on the wrong path then Madullah, all their amal, all their deeds that they have done in their life, it will be worth nothing. However, if they pass away as a mu'min, as a good believer on the straight path, then they will, uh, all their amal, all their good deeds and, and everything else that they have done in this life will contribute towards the akira. They will reap the rewards of 
their good deeds in the hereafter. That's why we should always, we need to make the dua for a good death. We should always say, Allahumma ya mukhallib al-qulub, thabbit kulubana ala deenik. Allahumma ya musarrif al-qulub, sarrif kulubana ala ta'atik. Allahumma rzukna husna al-khatima, ala aqidai ahli sunnah wal jama'ah. Ameen. We should always make dua that we have a good death on the straight path. And we should always make dua that we stick with the aqidah of Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Ameen. Regarding destiny, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written everyone's destiny before we were created. But we should not say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed such and such for me. So why should I try? For example, we should not say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined Jannah for me. So why should I pray my namaz, ma'adullah? Why should I, why should I do good on this earth? Rather, it is the other way around. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knew what we were going to do in this life. He knew that we would be good mu'mins. He knew that we would pray our namaz. He knew that we would give sadqah. We, he knew we would go and preach others Islam. That's why he has decreed Jannah or Jahannam for us. So we should not, we should not say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed such and such for us. That's why we should not bother. Rather, we should try the Sahaba has asked the Prophet Sallallahu once that if Allah has written everything, then why should we do amal? Why do we pray namaz? The Prophet Sallallahu replied and said, Allah has written everything, but still do amal. If you are destined for Jannah, you will behave in such a way. If you are destined for Jahannam, then you will behave in that way. Our duty is to act, leave the rest to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. One should not lose himself in pondering about destiny. It is very complicated and our our lack of comprehension is our comprehension in the sense that we will never be able to understand. Imam al-Tahawi says that the reality of destiny is that it is a sir, a secret that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept from all his creation, even his closest angels and even his closest prophet. So who am I and you? Who are we to question destiny and who are we to try to understand it? It is impossible. That's why we pray the seventh kalima. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wa yawm al-akhiri wa al-qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allahi ta'ala wa al-ba'thi ba'd al-mawt wa al-qadrihi. Our duty is to believe. Leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Act and believe. Do not question. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu also says regarding pondering about destiny that it is like an ocean. Your, curio- your curiosity will never end, yet it will make you drown. It will lead you astray as it nears the boundary of leaving Islam. Therefore, we should not ponder about destiny. Leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And be happy with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Allah says in the Quran, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ do shukr, be happy, be grateful for what I have given you and I will give you more. So what do we learn? We learn that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew who is going to enter Jannah and Jahannam and knew every single person's amal, their deeds before he even created us. We also know that we also know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he knows that there is not going to be an increase or decrease in that amount. I.e. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written our destiny for us and that will not change. We also know that many, many big, big ulama and big sheikh have said to us that we should not ponder about destiny. Therefore, we should just act and we should just uh, believe that destiny is true. We should not ponder about it. We should not lead ourselves astray. We should not get lost in pondering about destiny. One last gem before we end that Huzur Ghosbaq radiallahu ta'ala and give us um, as an example regarding hardship and goodness. He gives the example of a person's life as night after night comes day. I after darkness comes light. Meaning, after every hardship will come light, will come goodness. Every hardship that befalls us is not going to last forever. It may last a maximum one or two years, maybe longer. But 
always Allah has planned something for us. Always something good will come out of it, inshaAllah ta'ala. So this is destiny. This is destiny. This is why we should remain patient and do shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives me for any mistakes I have made. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me the tawfiq to act upon what I have said today. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا الْبَلَاقِ السَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ